in your role, why days like this are so important? It's remembering the people who've gone before us and the fantastic things that they've done is, in, is really important. And also to get all the veterans that we can see uh, around today, getting them together with old friends, sharing experiences, rebonding with them and their families. It's, it's part of what it means to be in this country's armed forces. Now you're too young, uh, you told me that, I would have guessed it anyway to be fair, but you're too young uh, to uh, have been involved in the Falklands, but it played a hugely significant part in your life. It did, it was, uh, I was 12, I might look a bit older than that at the time, and I grew up near uh, Aldershot and Church Crookham, and as a young man, a young boy, I saw the Parachute Regiment and the Gurkhas marching off to war, and then followed it like all of us in the papers and on the news and then stood by the street as they came back and marched through the streets having returned from war. And so being here on the 40th anniversary and being part of this parade, is, it's a real honour. Uh, you've had a chance to go and uh, meet and greet and uh, share perhaps a light refreshment with some of the, the veterans as well. Yeah, I have, uh, and the crack is good in there. Uh, the Parachute Regiment, I said I'd shout them out. They claim to have been the first into the bar and claimed they're going to be the last out. Uh, but it is, uh, it's wonderful to, to meet so many of them in there. It's true to form, isn't it? it? It is absolutely true to form. Uh, and the live music we've got today is some great entertainment. Yeah, it's brilliant. And, and it, it adds to that sort of sense of family and, and belonging that is, uh, that is so important to us and to the whole community here. So in general, thank you very much. They're still getting set up. Why well, don't you get back and uh, continue with the crack over there as well. Hey, Tony, do you want to come over? We'll bring in the uh, Garrison Sergeant Major as well. That's what you get for looking. I almost didn't see you there in your camouflage. <laughs> uh, Tony, you look after um, basically Edinburgh Garrison, Garrison Sergeant Major. Uh, you've been, you were organising the parade today and uh, involved in that. Uh, a hugely important day. It is a hugely important day. It's very, very important that these things are remembered as we move forward. Um, because just like everybody else, as we keep moving forward, we get older. And it's important that these people aren't forgotten because they did something that the country was never ever tasked with since World War II, so much respect for these people. What kind of uh, vibe have you picked up today, speaking to people, that you can tell us about? Yeah, no, the, I think the general consensus is it was well received. Um, I think it's got a lot of smiles on faces. As everything has been opening up and things are getting back to normal, people want to see this sort of stuff, the bands, the different types of music, the Royal Marine Band, the, the Pipe Band. You know, just representation, it just puts smiles on people's faces, they want to know what's going on and it just adds that, you know, flavour for the day for everybody. Uh, this might sound uh, a, a bit of a silly question, but, you know, you're of a younger generation, certainly, than me and uh, most of the veterans here today as well. What was your awareness of the Falcons um, over the years and how is that heightened with events like and uh, periods like Falcons 40? So as you said, um, I'm of the generation that wasn't born when these men went to war. Um, but I've been trained by people that they've then subsequently trained. And you just never forget those individuals that have had those impressions. These men were at the, the seniority of company sergeant majors, senior uh, officials in the army by the time I had made it into the rank. So those lasting memories and legacies they have that deep impact to be involved in the remembrances and uh, the relevant dinners associated with them to see them parading and remembering their friends and colleagues from across the tri service that's just something that we have to keep up and, and continue to, to make things like legion scotland and our partners at poppy scotland important to to remember uh, finally clearly going by your accent you're a local to edinburgh we can all we can all tell that you have uh, one of the most prestigious jobs uh, in edinburgh it is a fantastic job uh, and edinburgh is a great posting and this is a ridiculously busy time for you it is a, a great posting I'm, I'm so grateful to have been been assigned edinburgh garrison um other than london it's probably the most busiest uh, garrison um for public duties state ceremonial events and uh, as everybody will know, in a week and a half's time, Her Majesty will come back to Edinburgh uh, before taking um, residence at Balmoral. And it is going to be a week jam-packed with royal engagements throughout. Do you find yourself uh, walking up to the castle to your office every day and talking about things that we're talking about just now and just pinching yourself? 100%. I still can't believe they have let me in the castle 
and uh, I get to work there every day, you know, the National Monument of Scotland, the most Instagrammable building in the whole of the Scottish Isles, and I get to work there, what more could you ask for? To be fair, there's many people here that can't believe it either, but you're pulling it off, you're doing a great job, Tony, thank you very much. I'm going to get some more live music on for you in just uh, a couple of minutes. We've got Amy Hawthorne coming up. We've also got uh, Laura Hill, who's part of Juniper 3.